What is ISO? ISO is one of the three pillars of photography, along with shutter speed and aperture. ISO comes from the Greek word ISOS, meaning equal. And even though it was adopted by the International Organization for Standards, it is not an acronym. In simple terms, ISO is the camera's sensitivity to light. The lower the ISO number, the less sensitive it is to light, and higher numbers increase sensitivity. The camera sensor is the most important part of the camera, as it gathers light and transforms it into an image. The base ISO is generally the lowest possible ISO number on your camera, and this produces the best quality. What do I mean by quality? Well, the higher the ISO number you use, the more noise will be visible in the image. Most cameras these days have a base ISO of 100, and then increment by multiples of 2. So, 100, 200, 400, etc. Each of these steps effectively doubles the sensitivity to light. So, ISO 200 would be twice as sensitive to light as ISO 100. And ISO 400 would then be four times as sensitive compared to 100. In practical terms, this simply means that if it takes one second to get a properly exposed picture at ISO 100, it will be four times quicker to get the same amount of light at ISO 400, which can help reduce motion blur and camera shake. Again though, if you use a high ISO number, your images will have noise. Anything below ISO 400 or 800 should be relatively noise free, and above ISO 3200, you will be able to clearly see grain. This does, however, depend on the sensor. The larger the sensor, the more light can be captured and less noise will be visible. Which is why you can take very good photos with some full-frame DSLRs, even at ISO 3200. This does not mean you need to go out and get a full-frame DSLR, though. My Panasonic G7, a Micro Four Thirds camera, takes very usable photos even at ISO 1600. So, it all really depends on what you're looking for in a camera. But more on that in another video. The best times to use a higher ISO would be when you're lacking in light, a flash would not be appropriate, and you do not or cannot use a tripod. And as a general rule, stick to your base ISO when shooting outside on sunny days, as there is plenty of light. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech-related videos like this one. I'm David, and I am going to see you in the next one. Ciao.